Hey guys, how are we doing? We're in 2017 now and I thought I'd kick off the year with another solid pocket chip video. Today we've done things a little bit different. We've got the pencil stand in there to make it a little easier for me to show you. But today we're going to be installing Minecraft Pocket Edition, or we're going to be showing you Minecraft Pocket Chip Edition. Um, the commands before we get to this point are down below. So please work your way through them, and uh, once you've worked your way through them, then we get on to actually booting up Minecraft Chip Edition. So, like I say, follow what there is down below, and if you have any problems, let me know in the comment section. And then once you get past that, you should come up with um, this little line here, and then we should just be able to type in... Um, we should be able to type in... I think it's master uh, it's forward slash home forward slash forward slash chip and then it's forward slash and then it's chip craft chip craft and then it's forward slash uh, oh no, then it's a dash master and then it's forward slash perhaps I should have got this line ready before we started uh, it's MCPI because it's actually a fork I believe or a port of the uh, Pi edition and then it's forward slash start dot s h and if you press enter boom you now have minecraft pi edition on the pocket chip now we can actually host a local session between pocket chips but as i only have the one pocket chip we'd have to click the start game you can see i've already created a, a world but we can create a new one just to show you how fast it loads and there is a reason why we have the stand there today as opposed to usual, it's not just to make this a little bit easier and it to stay in one place it is for a perfectly valid reason and you'll see in a moment so once we're in you can see that we do get the Pi Edition so we get the creative mode, we do not get the survival mode currently but I believe the survival mode, there is a way to get it slightly working I will look into this, um, but hopefully there will be a way to get it fully working after some time. And as you can see, the arrow keys don't do anything here, but the W, A, S, and D keys move you around. And obviously we don't have a mouse, so we have to use a touchscreen. And you can see that the touchscreen is super fast. In fact, it's pretty much too fast to make it unplayable. And this is where one of these comes in quite nicely. Now you can buy these off Amazon, they're like uh, a mouse and keyboard in one you can get them backlit or you can get them non backlit uh, so if we just like hold down the function button and press F6 see we get a little backlight there on the go and all you do is you basically plug in a USB dongle into the back of the chip So, so it goes in like that, bring the background, and then we can actually use the mouse on here, which makes it a little easier to uh, to use. Now all the keys are standard as on PC, so you know WS and D keys are standard, and if you walk up to a block, you just double tap or tap the right uh, mouse button to destroy blocks. I think we have to tap the left mouse button to build, but I'm not positive. Maybe not. How do we build? We need to be on a build block, so for that we're going to need to go to 2. And then, yeah. So, we can build like this. And as you can see, it runs fairly smoothly. Now one thing I will say is it's difficult actually seeing the keys when I'm like this, but when I'm 
playing this without the camera in front of me with this little thing here it's actually pretty comfortable and it does work and because you've got the little stand in there it makes it a whole lot easier to play and to be honest it's a, like I say it's a pretty smooth experience some things the game does sort of lag out here and there you know it's a few frame rate dips here and there but these things are to be ironed out and hopefully updated uh, by the community but for the most part it runs well enough to be able to be played and it's just a damn shame that there's no survival it's literally all um, it's all creative mode so you won't be able to fight off zombies or or fight off enemies or anything like that it's all just based on creativity which is great if you love the creative mode of Minecraft but like I say this I'm sure there'll be some of the community or someone that manages to get survival mode working on this and then we'll have pretty much a, a well designed and well crafted Minecraft for Pocket and to be honest this is pretty damn cool so like I say follow the commands in the description and if you like this video hit the like button if you didn't hit the dislike button please tell me below as to why you disliked it and I'll see you soon with another one but hopefully this is a good start to 2017 and hopefully you enjoyed the video see you soon guys cheers